If you're planning your first visit to Bali, this is the perfect eight-day itinerary. Use it to plan your own adventure or join my next group trip this May 2024. Link in the first comment for more details. Welcome to Bali. This is my first group trip ever and my first time out here in the beautiful island of Bali. I'm here with a wonderful group of 10 people and we're spending eight days in this beautiful island and I'm super excited to bring you with and show you some incredible places around this island. Island. This is day one. We started our adventure in Ubud by visiting Gunung Kawi, a temple northeast of Ubud, known as the Valley of the Balinese Kings, an 11th century temple and funerary complex. Before getting to the temple, visitors, both men and women, are required to wear sarongs available at the sides. The walk to the temple passes through some breathtaking rice terraces and fertile fields. It's so calming to be there. The temple was very serene and appeasing. With less crowds, we took our sweet time to meditate and appreciate being there. In the same location, there are plenty of other activities to enjoy. I love how there are a bunch of options to really enjoy nature out here in a fun, adventurous way. So you can either opt for the zip line or you can go on the swings, take some really nice photos. The folks here, they know how to take the best photos. You can even rent dresses if you want, more Instagrammable photos. It's, it's so much fun out here. We have the group down there. Some people are trying the zip line, a few people trying the swings. Uh, this place is just magnificent. Alex is getting ready for the zip line and we have some of the ladies getting ready for the fun dresses. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The greenery here is unbelievable. You have to experience it to really appreciate how amazing it is. We went on to visit the holy spring and temple of Tirta and Paul, a sacred Balinese Hindu water temple. Every time we're visiting a temple out here in Bali, we have to cover up and wear what's called the sarong. We've got the team, everybody's getting dressed up in their nice, colorful sarong. This is a popular temple known for being a purification site. Tourists and visitors opt for cleansing rituals in the site. We were content with walking around and taking in the beauty of the temple. We just found a small fruit market right outside of the shopping market here next to the temple and they do have a lot of exotic fruits i mean exotic to asthma exotic to the land so many fruits that i haven't tried before so we'll probably give some a try here i watched this local lady slice open an ice apple this is a local fruit it's also very popular in india i got tired just from watching it took a lot of labor to open <laughs> We ended the day at Kampuhan Ridge, a lush scenic locale known for its mellow hiking trails and sweeping hilltop views. The place is so amazing and is surrounded by rice fields and panoramic views. I highly recommend it. We left our hotel and made our way to the trailhead of Mount Bator. We started our hike pretty early to get to the summit on time for a beautiful sunrise. Mount Bator is one of the most popular hikes in the region and rightfully so. On a clear day, this is what the sunrise looks like. We unfortunately didn't have the best luck, but we enjoyed snacks and drinks at the summit and the climb was very rewarding. It can get pretty humid, so make sure you have enough water. It's very common to see monkeys up top. Keep your stuff inside your bag and keep your bag on you. There's nothing that beats soaking in natural hot springs after a great hike. We made our way after our hike to Toya Bunka Natural Hot Springs for a perfect reward.
Today we left Ubud to Nusa Penida. Nusa is how you say island in the local language. Nusa Penida is the largest of three Nusa islands off of the coast of mainland Bali. Sanor port is very unique. This is where we took the boat to get to Nusa Penida. The design is unique and the check-in process is very smooth. The ride to Nusa Penida was so much fun. We spent the day exploring the east side of Nusa Penida. Our first stop was Atu Beach, a a gorgeous little cove with cliff views and a secluded beach on the bay. We then went to climb up to Ruma Pohon Treehouse for the epic Thousand Islands viewpoint. This is hands down one of the best viewpoints in the island. Bali is known for being one of the best diving and snorkeling destinations in the world. We geared up today and hopped on our boat for a snorkeling adventure. The highlight of this day was snorkeling with mana rays at Mana Point and enjoying the beautiful reefs in the island. This experience was a first for many of us and it was a memorable part of our adventure. Today we're adventuring in the southern part of Nusa Penida. We went to Bana Cliff for some epic views. We then continued on to Tambulin Beach, a secluded beach with natural pools. In order to get there, we hopped on scooters for a thrilling experience through a lush forest. You can't visit Bali and not ride a scooter. The road is pretty bumpy, so be sure to ask for a helmet and hold on to your driver. You can take a dip in one of the pools or relax by the beach. Being at the beach feels so surreal, you have to be here to experience it. We then went to Pegunyang Spring, home of a sacred temple and a place of purification rituals of the Balinese Hindu. This spot is famous for its blue steep stairs made of steel attached to a cliff and the views all around are completely out of this world. took a speedboat back to Bali's mainland and headed to Sanor Beach to hit the waters by stand-up paddleboard. You don't have to have any experience as your guide will help you with the basics. It is so much fun to try to find balance and finally manage to stand up for the first time. Having never tried it before until this trip, I laughed more than I ever did. If you found this itinerary helpful, please subscribe to the channel and join our next trip. Link in the first comment for more details.